until approximately 9.46 a.m. on today's date. Animal Peace Police Service received a 911 call for a stabbing that just occurred in the area of the Red Rose Motel. That motel is located at 553 Queenston Road in Hamilton. Police arrived on scene and located a single male victim, 40-year-old male from Brampton area. He was found with stab wounds and was transported to the local hospital where he was later pronounced de deceased from his wounds. At this time, we're not releasing the name of the victim as family are still being located and notified of the death. And we are continuing to do interviews and review surveillance video from the area to identify the people involved in this matter. Can you explain, it was kind of a large scene, right? You have the, the motel, but there was also clearly other evidence at the bus shelter um, and down the road near the apartment building. Can you explain that at all? Yes, yeah, so I can say that uh, this started as an altercation at the motel. The victim was injured at that location and left the area on foot and was located a short distance east of the motel. So we had to lock down that area because it contained forensic evidence that was being left behind by our victim. So the stabbing happened at the motel and then he walked out and collapsed near the bus shelter down the road? Correct. Okay. Correct. Is he a guest at the motel? He was there visiting people. He was not, to my, my knowledge, a renter at the motel, but he was visiting one of the units there. Okay, can you talk about the search for suspects or a suspect? At this time, we're still gathering surveillance video from the area. We have surveillance video from the motel itself, and we've spent the better part of the afternoon interviewing the witnesses and some of the tenants in the complex there. Should the public be concerned at all? From our information, it would appear this was a targeted attack, and the general public should not be concerned. However, we're always concerned when violence of this nature occurs, and we'll be working throughout the night to try to identify the people involved. Has a weapon been recovered? Um, I won't answer that question at this point. Can you talk at all about the altercation? What, what led up to it? All I can say is that there were more than one person, like more than two people involved in the altercation, and it took place inside one of the units. So unfortunately, we will be there probably all day tomorrow, having to do search warrants to get into the unit itself. And so we'll know better probably later tomorrow as to what's inside the unit. At the scene, there was like a, a police blue like tent tarp thing that was set up. Is that, I've never seen that before. What was the purpose of that? Was that at the at the room where it happened? Yeah. Well, initially we were concerned that there was going to be some bad weather coming into town, so we wanted to cover certain areas in case rain suddenly came. Um, fortunately for our investigation, that didn't occur, and we're just going to continue with the examination today. That makes sense. Is there anything uh, in terms of um, direction of flight or anything like that, a vehicle that the suspects may have used that you can release? Uh, I probably will have more information on that tomorrow morning. Um, we have some people that are reviewing that information right now, and we'll probably be able to solidify that in the morning. The victim, do you have? Do you know why he was at the motel? Like he was visiting people? Uh, I'm, I'm not going to discuss that okay. at this point. There are a number of apartment buildings in that area. Are you canvassing that neighborhood as well? Uh, we will be. That'll take place tomorrow. Today, the first priority was getting some of the surveillance video and some of the identified witnesses. Uh, being a motel, there were a number of units that were rented, so we had a, a large number of people to deal with. Did the video reveal uh, any potential suspects? I mean, have you been able to at least make a uh, an identification of some sort that somebody was coming from the, from the motel, whatever you've obtained? Yeah, all I would say at this point is that the video does show the movements of people, but until we can identify their involvement and people coming and going, because there were a number of people that were in and about the area at that time that were not involved, but are still contained within the video. And so we need to go through that video tonight and iron out who's who and try to follow the movements from there. So we, we don't have a solid description to put out right now, but I'm hopeful that in the days coming, we'll be able to do that. Do you have any, sorry, do you have any idea of, a, of maybe a specific motive? Uh, not at this time.